Yes, people, my name is Diavolan Ferran, aka Dia Warrior, and this is another episode of Dia Warrior Music History. And this one is part 9. And in this one, we're going to feature my father, which is Dennis Jadi Ferran. You understand? Dennis Ferran, aka Jadi. You understand? So, Jadi, you know, is like a big part of our music in Jamaica big part of the reggae music you understand big part even in a but my father is a piano tuner you know? so back in the days like studio one and you know a lot of the even top gun a lot of the, the, the music studio my father used to tune the piano you know at even one point my father was telling me that um before tuna he used to he used to tune like rabbi shakespeare bass guitar you know a lot of them guitar and all those things have to tune it to the keyboard. You understand? So I want to show the people them about my father. And first, let him tell you know about his beginning and you know how it all started for him in the music. Check out Dennis Ferran, aka Jaddy. Jaddy. Eventually, you know, yeah, we eventually you know, start to move towards the piano and coming on and coming on until one day a man say, well, we can play. Yeah. I mean, you know, in the studio now, Randy's and the Federal Studio and all the record studio, you know, I'm coming through with people for eyes and a couple of them guys then. So we eventually start to, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eventually start to now with band, yeah. you know? And we like band like uh, Irish team, Vincible, and we reach, um, have a one like a group, then we will farm like um, Splendors, and we uh, control our wedding tour. But you know, we, we come to a long way until we start more studio work again. So I end up back in a Capsule studio again, you know, from the first time he's ready, so we start still the motor again. Yeah. And I am end up back in there, so at age, certain age around 16, 18, so. And from them time, you know, you know, it's just another journey because get up, yeah, you're, you're out for your um, find yourself. You, you find yourself amongst all great musicians them now, you know? Who oh, yeah, and them can exercise other things. So with them on soul defenders and um, soul vendors, you know, different different groups. And from Coxon we move on to Joe Gibbs and still their Coxon and start the what you call it now? What them call it freelance musicians. Okay. Yeah. So hold on. 
Yeah, we were talking about the band. The, yeah. When you was playing into the band, you was recording in the studio. The yeah, time. yeah, man. Because it was a, it was a, a task, you know, because you have to go rehearsal and you have to go studio. So sometimes eventually end up no, no have no rest. You know, you have to drink enough carrot juice to keep up. Okay. You know, and all them things that really just maintain your, your music style, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, we eventually start playing for a lot of the singers, them Gregory Isaac, Dennis Brown, Culture, name yeah. a few. Yeah. You know, a whole lot of them is just be a little musician. Because sometimes yeah. it's a long line of man and it's easy to play for the whole of them. You're the first musician everybody has come yeah. work out as a piano man. You are work out the tune them for them and then pass on the, um, the ideas to the rest of the musicians and them and you know, as true musician. So we come to um, that, that, great, that great vibes, you know? Yeah, great vibes. So, so how, how has the music changed from then to now? Well, um, well, as we say now, the music, when we look at the music now, is the youth then now really create something because the youth them today come with the idea through technology. Yeah. You know, technology give them fruity loops and whole well, like something where they can loop certain things and go and like them play. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So they never get our, our um, uh, experience to make music the way how we used to do it in the studio. Might be if they get the experience that they wouldn't really loop the way how they might loop. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it, it's just an easy thing and it work out now that it seems like them get some some type of encouragement from from people because music are war, you know. Yeah. Might be all the American people, them and them English people and all of them who feel the music can yeah, come from top. Try to kill our music with them type of equipment there, you know? Yeah. And the, the Japanese and all of them. But eventually our things still come from top same way, no matter how them change it. Mm-hmm. But the difference is it's, it's just a music that where them call dance or where them want to call it. Mm-hmm. But our music still stands because reggae at the force where, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, them have to still have a to today, you know? Yeah. So them still can't kill the reggae because many man try to try to stroke it, them try to do all different kind of things with them. Yeah. So I wouldn't say that well, it changed, but I see it's already reggae stand predominant among the change in the same way, you know? Yeah, yeah but I don't it have a message within it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes, people. And you know that as a musician, you know, sometimes people don't understand the passion and you know how people really excited and how people love music is like a big part of our life, you know. So as a creator, like even my father, you find out say we put so much our attention and our energy into the creation of music where sometimes, or a lot most time, the business part of the music get neglected. The money part of the music, you understand, get neglected. Because we so much into the creativity, you understand, and so want to ex, you know, explore the creative side of things to create this new thing, you know, every time. So my father is a creator. It's just now, you know, we just have to say, all right, you see, for 2022, we have to start, get with business together and deal with business, the music business, because we spend enough years, you know, pouring out our talent in the music, our, you know, the positive vibration that the Almighty bless us with, you know. So, you my father talk about the business. The business. What about the, the business of music? You, you did see that um, within your, your, your going through, you get involved in the, the business? No, well, it's that, no, because it's true, we, we love the music so much, we just play. Yeah. And uh, we're glad for you to see a black man say, I'm going to do a little business, help him say, yeah. make a thing work. Because this thing, as we did, band comes to the music, nobody knows that uh, that thing where a man could and use and make a money. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, well, if a man goes to the drum dealer and make all the yummy land yeah. thing to make a money, you know, a man, uh, like, I say nothing and cost two women and make mm-hmm. all the money for him, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, the business part, I never really did trading at it. Because you have to in the studio. 
and you, when it's done, sometimes you just go home, you want to go home, you know? Yeah. And you just go home and, and rest again, forget the next call, for go back into the studio again. So, when it comes to the business, we the musician, I figure more or less that is one of the things where we never did really take a stand to. Because, as we say, we never did even know. Sometimes, you know, it's like planting a tree and never know, say, to that and get so big. You know, mm -hmm. so I saw the music come, you know, but I didn't even know so the thing would I know just explode, explode, so, mm -hmm. you know, so when the man who did really have the tapes and the whole of them something there, them is the man who, who claims that them represent the business, mm -hmm. because we never did have no tape, we don't go play the music, mm -hmm. sometimes we don't know which tune we play, because sometimes we ask you that 10 tune for the day, so much tune for the day, you don't remember the first one, mm -hmm. you know what I deal with, so you don't even know, you just go through, sometimes the man comes and says, yeah, you play for that tune, you know, never I did even remember that, you know. So the business is most important today where I figure more or less we have to take that stand, you know, you know. To get the business, get the together. business together, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, 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 you can list like some of the, the tunes them from like even Ross Michael and culture and them type of man or um, Dennis Brown, Greg Isaac, you know, from where well, is there a few of them we can remember like Greg Isaac or um, once ago. Love over Jew and me don't remember record factory is a whole heap of them from record factory to for Greg mm -hmm. Dennis Brown right um revolution you know and um promised land a whole heap of, whole heap of them King a, a whole heap of Dennis Brown you know a whole lot of Dennis Brown is we play them at, at Joe Gibbs mm -hmm. from Cox and Joe Gibbs and and um and Bunny Gemini plus me and Flabber World with Dennis Brown too, you know. So there's a plenty of them and we play them tune. But as I say, I don't remember one thing. Because overhead, if you really remember the things them where you do, I make it put it on one head. Like you don't want another head, one for remember things and one for do things. Mm -hmm. You know what I deal with? Because no things you do. True, true, true. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yes, people. My last video, you know, I tell you about Jaddy, you understand? My father. We get my detail, you know, about some things about my father. When we say different, you know, say when me and I explore like spirituality and I learn about God and them things, I always want to meet a guru, you know. Somebody we can probably, you know, guide me from a spiritual journey and explain certain things and, you know, get yeah, a better outlook on life. And may I tell you, say, when I look and look and look, only somebody we could have find on my father. And my father is a very inspirational person. You understand? He's a father for nations. Because people call my father from all over the world. Because he's a father for everybody. You know, he look out for everybody. And that's when I get in with some of my tenants. If we care about people and you know, and watch and watch face car. Even some people in family turn them back on them and my father help them and take them in and you know, set them on a, a, a right path. So as a man we do a lot of great things for people. And you know, it's also a man who help people and the music tremendously, you know. We want to talk about your music. Yeah. You know, your instrumentals and, and things. You know, what has the experience been so far with your instrumental? Well, um, well, you know, over the years, you know, um, doing these things in the show, the moms them and the, and them dantrum and scatter lights, the whole of them brother there, you get a whole lot of influence to really maintain instrumentally, you know, how oh, you can make things, make instrumental. So hearing all these great musicians, Roland Alfonso and all of these brother man and seeing Jackie me too and listening to them and stage you're playing all of these instrumental you get a whole heap of um, influence mm -hmm. but the thing is it now you know you want to do your own thing yes you know yes. but sometimes now you have to say no oh how do you want to go about melodies you know guys melodies and thinking of melodies you have to say, well, gee, you have to have these lullabies, 
the stars now of creation. Mm -hmm. And you want to do something where you don't want to repeat yourself over and over and do things where the world ever hear before because this is what I really intend for the, you know, when I say I want to maintain instrumental. And believe you me, you know, I find that it still takes that divinity. You remember what that yeah. divinity yeah. still takes that yeah. divinity you now if you gather inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I start I see we are as a Rasta man, I don't have no other entity but his majesty. You know? Mm -hmm. And I say his majesty just fill me up and teach me for the things like oh you're the fierce. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. it's like you have a, you have to identify, you know. You see the music. So I beg the most I have to teach I like or make face. And believe me, I start to make melodies and I try to record them on cassette for maintain them because I don't read really or write music to the level where I can just go write it. Yeah. So my recording source was just a cassette. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so I record all my ideas them on cassette and on cassette and on cassette until I see where I can't even know if I start to record them instrumentally. Uh, about what time are they talking about the recording on cassette? What, what year? Well, from you know, the 80s, you know, early 80s, you know? Yeah. 70s, 80s. I have music from them time they are record, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, the early is where the cassette just a combo where I get popular. Yeah. You know? But we are using it now, them like a Panasonic tape, they are doing a little thing until we see a double deck one day, until we see uh, a flat deck, a tiak. Yeah. Because when we in the studio, you may see one of them tape the one at the time, you know. And before we come on the road now, before we can have, a, have one in our hand, yes. is Bermuda made it go in the 70s and bring back one of them like a tape there. And, you know, okay. keep on recording for it. Um, Capture with the ideas there. As you talk about tape, you used to use 8-track tape? Yeah man, we use from 2-track, 4-track. 8-track, the one that you push with the big tape, you know, something look like a DVD. No, them time, them tape, they come now up and they, what you call it, the I-8, no I-8. Um, like something look like this, 8-track, yeah. they yeah. call it 8-track. I think that's yeah, 8-track yeah. tape, before yeah. cassette. Yeah, yeah, but them come like another thing named yeah, that. Yeah. Hear that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, where you're pushing them, three of them, in a, in a No, machine. not the one there, not the one there. A track, like, like the... Mm -hmm. V look like video tape, yeah, VHS. Man. VHS, man. Not the one in record on it, you know. I thought the, the, the big, uh, like as I you know, remember, the big tape with the changer on it, and it have an ear track. We are pushing the tape. Yeah, we use, no, we never generally use the one there records. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm talking about. We never use the one there. Oh, that same one they're pushing. pushing. No, we never use yeah. the one there. They don't sell music on that. They sell music on the one there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A farmer. Yeah. yeah. But they do want a video tape. Mm -hmm. Then you start to make ear that now. Okay. Video tape and you could push in a video tape if you not hear that now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we see a cassette come with a ear track cassette too. You know? Mm -hmm. So we could record ear track and a cassette too. You know? So all these things is some development. But um, the two track and the eight track, reel to reel, and the sixteen track, mm -hmm. all them tape. Cause I, I can't remember when you record from two track is one cut. Mm -hmm. Right, so start from four track tape. So you leave uh, one track for the, the singer, and three track now like is every musician have to play one time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so you know them taking all the musician them one time from them three track. Eh? Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah man, and it's the same procedure you have to go through by recording. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I'll back to that. Yes, so Jadi. Yeah. Um tell me about the, the changes in the music, like from Scar to Rocksteady to you know them different type of thing music. Yeah. There. Well Scare no Scare was we, we, the first entity where we used to shuffle and rock steady. So hold on, hold on. It's a scare. Yeah. So when you when you started to play music, yeah. you know, like in band and in studio, yeah. you started to play what type of music first? Well I come great in a rock steady um, reggae that switch over there, you know. Yeah. With rock steady reggae, you know. So it was rock steady before it was reggae? Yeah. 
The rap said it really did strong. You know, before the reggae start for more. Because it's when Larry Marshall and the man there come in and go to a tank of blood at you. Where they have that scary them, that, that shuffle there, you know. Yeah. You find that the reggae did really start to move up, you know. Okay. Yes, yeah. Oh. So, so that changes, you know, is a big change because. I never did experience much. I did the rock steady deeply. Yeah. Because I did have to learn to fix piano and them time there. But I come to the scale, you know? Mm-hmm. And I got to trail and I come a little bit by the end of the rock steady to the reggae, okay. you know? Okay. So it's this so we start our whole era, you know? Uh. Yes, people. <laughs> And you know, say, my father now, my father, Dennis Ferran, he ate away, you understand? And my father is not like, you know, like enough of the father them say, neglect them kids and them something. No, my father make a lot of sacrifice, you understand? For be there for your family, because my father used to tour with culture and Ras Michael and the sons of Negus and meditation and a lot of a lot of groups out there, you understand, all over the world, very busy. And my father decides, you know what, I'm not leave Jamaica anymore and leave with me with them. And you know, go them and just try to you know, call it survive in Jamaica and take care of family. My father tear up him passport. Tear up that up to this day my father have a passport. Up to this day, I help we get we get him for the quarter passport. I know him want identification. I know him now. So my father made great sacrifice for keeping family together and delivering youth. And there's one story about my father where he always stand out to me, and it made me love my father on a whole different level. Because I saw me see when we their country, like in the 80s when. Grandspin, our grandson who come from, our grandspin around hot and people are dead and enough gunshot and anything. And my father tell my mother, say, yo, they carry you them go a country and you know, we, we have a more balanced environment right now. Car grandspin around hot, place rough, people are dead and type of something. And I remember me their country, and one evening, I see my father come with a box of food on his head. And in a country and like nowadays there's so much transport around and those three bus, Beverly or Doreen or one next bus, you understand? If you miss the bus there, that's it. You have to know say you have to walk. I mean, no say my father walk probably one good nine miles for come much power there. And when I see my father in the evening, the man wet from head to foot, like him there walking in the rain. Oh far my walk with a box of food for your family. And I see that as a little youth, and I never ever forget that. Never ever that has something sticking in my mind forever when it comes to my father. When I see my father, I make that track there, and oh, he really put out for me, the for family. You know, I have to give him respect. And I wish a lot of fathers that take, you know, even a little page out of him book for set certain examples for them youth and for me, the for them youth. See and my feet say I emulate my father and lots of him because I try to make my father him have eight you to make sure he get eight too he understand that we try you know emulate him as much as as we can because he set a good example and we can see how things work out you know because yeah, even the youth them and all of them are going to be there for you and all of them are going to be around you and all of them are going to support you you know so some of you not even know how to end up at the end of the day but you have to bring the youth them to come. The father say must be fruitful and multiply. If you can take care of them, you know, carry the youth them. Build up your little team and build up your team yourself, you know. Yeah, man.
wall beginning when I buy a mile of my dog as well. Yeah. Me, me, me meet one bridge, you know, and I walk and just spend lane. You know? Me and Ferdy Nelson. Yeah. And him hear me and play my mouth dog, you know? And him say, well, some used to, through them, them time that them have a concert all run. Because the only place where they, where they used to have a little, a little theater. Yeah. In a, in a walk up in, you know? Mm -hmm. Where they have players, nurse players. Mm -hmm. You know, go on. I you took up 10 times and she yeah. come back to the and go to the and tell her walk with her. Yeah, yeah no players are gone. So, so eventually, you know, for the one, me, me daddy, I'm playing my mouth out and come up like them play there. But for the hear me, and then me and him start playing, you know, play a danger man tune. Yeah. And we play a danger man tune. But my mouth out gone, you know. Anytime yeah. they're around 15, yeah. you know, year old, so, you know. Yeah. Because me, I play my mouth out gone from them time. And eventually, we end up in a Caxon Studio World Danger Man um, music, music sheet, sheet film. Yeah. You know, that me I say, for I look, uh, me love this one of music so much. Yeah. You know what I deal with? Yeah. That me I end up. Ah, ah, ah. Can't get back up with you, man. I end up. I want the music sheet film. You know? Yeah. But you know. Because I tune like Chinatown, mm -hmm. because them man, they, me see them tune they make, you know. Yeah. So just through them type of thing there. Me able to love scam music, because me I play my, my, my motor and from them time there. Yeah. And me love scam music so much. That me, my motor and last in a open river now, because me and Freddy start go, go check one bridge in your power where I was on, we over Constitution Hill. Yeah. And when me had come back from Constitution Hill, me could even tell my mother, I wish for me go, you know. Yeah. Because she always say, boy, we need the gun so far. Yeah. We jump over one stone in a whole river. And my mouth is going to drop in the water. Yeah. So she see me sit down in the yard. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no. I want to walk to me. Yeah. So I tell her, I say, boy, I want to learn to play the finger. So I tell her, I say, my mouth is going to say, wait. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I want to make you know, so eventually, but I'm not going to last in a whoop river. And I mean, I'll just tell her once, eh? But I mean, see me have a whoop in a music because my mother is going to last in a whoop river. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm dealing with? Mm -hmm. So, and I find him too, I end up in a cocksy. I mean, leave as you would go learn to fix the piano, learn to play it, and come back in a cocksy when Jack me to leave. Yeah. And I mean, come fill the film gap mm -hmm. with soul defenders and mm -hmm. Maggie and Privy and. Rick a back and all of these man and 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 basic from um Linsky there. So so, so so what 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 you, what you mean Bob Marley? Well, Bob Marley reader and you know palm reader you know. Bob Marley. Bob Marley a palm reader you know. Yeah, yeah. With them one who hold on the hand and tell you all your life stream and see all it. Hey man. So we will say, we will say. But you don't know, say. Well, I'm going to just tell you, sir. Well, because when you see all the hemming on my hand, look at it. Yeah. I'm going to say, boy, you are rich. Yeah. And you know, yeah. I'm going to say, Bob Marley, them long, long time, you know, because we are town man, you know, we are learned through your downtown. Yeah. And we see the whole of these ones, them. Because Cox did the right up a, up a piece and street, charge. Yeah. Yeah. Them time there before him go back before him yeah. go to Burnford Road, you know? Yeah, yeah. And we are see all of them man, the musician them because we are. My family man and, and no, them time them family man them. We are meet Bob before all family man them, you know? Yeah. You see because uh, after we are youth. When we are youth, I learn trade. Yeah. You see me I Then time no wheelers no farm that you know scatter lights around things. You know? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. see me I deal with yeah. scatter lights. So. We, we did love and we love dance. Yeah. So Bob Marley was one of the man who was singing Simmer Down and them tune down here. We are here, this vibes, and we are getting for fancy. The same virgin where we read the palm. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you see? Yeah. So, to me, I move around all of the musicians, and them tour the roof and the rule of the man, them. You know, we are getting for fancy now. So, he started learning trade now. When me, the piano, me, me, Get we learn, see how them play the scare business in our trap cut shoot on his head. We learn to fix the piano, learn to play the piano. So we them came down and play some Orange Street. So when you don't have this place or this piano shop down Orange Street, you start to shoot at them. 
musician, fix organ, piano, he, them, it named the Cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. So it's a plenty of things them fix. Mm -hmm. But in, in other times, you know, you have all of the musicians, them come, they so come, lurk, so, you know, mm -hmm. that I have a um, tips to that record shop in front of the over there, so. Only Lee down at the corner, they say. You know? Ah, is that? Orange Street was a music street. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Prince Buster. Up so, the step, you have one next bridge. You forgot what them name. But, you know, the whole of them people are there, right? So, but inside of the shop now, you have all different kind of piano man coming to the shop, come play. Joe Mears. You have Big Ed Miller. You have um, and Frankie Bonito. Because for me, you know the whole of them man there, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, grew with them until me start tuning piano for all Frankie Bonita in a Sheraton and them, them places there. Mm -hmm. You see? But it was an extreme of an issue. Eh? But the whole of them, me I hear them play, a man come there with sharing style. Man come there with bluebeck style. Man, man come there with fat style. You know? Me I try to learn the piano, you know. But me have so much different. Mood and music when me did I listen to at the time as I you to in the piano shop. Mm -hmm. Until he's a snapping step in one day. Badum, badum, badum. I say, yeah, yeah, the sound the man. Mm -hmm. You see me I mean, so easy snapping was the man who me and him become so. Yes. You see me got feel style. Yeah, yeah. We all learn to play more mm -hmm. than anything. Mm -hmm. I have this and the yeah, you know vibes, and the vibes there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so now yeah, easy snapping become great. Really. Until I used to snap in camera go, me and used to snap in start record now, you know. Yeah. Me and him start was studio. You see? Yeah. So all of them thing there. Where he my young start record? You play for him or no, you just go? No, him start go, go, go. record for GG record. And you just follow him go? And him say want me to come with him because yeah. me come play the organ. Oh, you yeah, play the yeah, organ? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so. So you mean the easy side, the someone say easy snapping? Yeah. Easy snapping. Yeah, I can sing, sing that. I can sing that. that. Yeah. So that's why I get the name. That's yeah, that's why they call him easy snapping. So that's like him it sound? In it sound that. Yeah. In a them time. In a them time. That's yeah. before the, the wheel has them. Yeah, man. Because the wheel has them scare. They don't want me to scare. Nobody did. Uh, uh, boogie. Scare. Snapping them was the instrumentalist man them. Yeah. You see, so them in the instrumental, so then German and Skia was catalyzed. Everything them play was the it yeah. at them time. Then. Yeah. So them back back man at them time they and yeah. the whole Jackie Hopel yeah. and them will all play for and bridging up a Baba Khan and Jow them. Yeah. Yeah, for them yeah. set of music them too. So I guess for me learn to get in a, a cat studio yeah. to Jow them and yeah. Freddie Nelson and, uh, easy, and snap easy Snap. Easy Snap, snap in the boat still? Them kill them down so very much is still a little. Uh, yeah. But them, you know. Most of the musicians there, where well, them bad, you know, but them, them dead for them rights. Yeah. Most man kill them because I'm a top. It's going to be about throw rubbish over my yeah, You yeah. know, see, it happened just about the end. You know? Yeah. yeah, so, but as we are saying, you know, we, we, we see how the music build. And them never did even know, say, even scare, they have a take so much of a grade. Mm -hmm. You know? Until when them caught uh, them. I ah, had the scatterlights request them to come up. Uh, England? Uh, no, Madison Square Garden. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, when you look now, so you find say, the discrimination big. That's why we, our discrimination is bigger than South Africa. You, know? yeah. you see it? Because if you smoke all weed, it's worse. You know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, them say, you can't make them go to Madison Square Garden. I was saying, Byron Lee. I want to play a place scare at them time, they never authentic. We yeah. got them make the news. Yes, yes. You yes. see me at the end? Yeah. And when them send by Rally, they bull them in a Madison Square Garden. Yeah. You see? So you know, know, so when them when they come back now, it's a revenge. Them start take. Even the scatterlights them and the musician them who come out of that era. Yeah. You see me at the end? If you can, them start tear all a man for coming at them group. This way, my dealer. So, I take the man the motor scatter. Take the motor scatter, like just mash up all the man. Yeah. So, let's ask her to the go over there. I might be angry, you man, live out of the whole of the thing right now, too. Yeah. You know? Because the rest of the man, them. So, you 
know, them never really about a certain thing. Yeah, you so know, not going yeah, low it. yeah, they low it. So when they when they look, cocks never did have yeah. the like you know, like when they know say you never know say a thing I will get so big. Yeah, you know, so a man just I get a little money, but we never did have that economical balance that you know say well. Your condition, live your position that you can be able to grow mm -hmm. with the development. You mm -hmm. see, me, I deal because I if me never live my condition and my position, me in mm -hmm. because we used to poorness and poverty that them things they become yeah, less, yeah, natural, yeah, yeah, less, yeah, less. Yeah. You, know, you see, about me, it. I worry about it because they, they. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. so if you come out of it, I just you have to learn how to grow out of it, like. You use that tree now, you use that tree now, rubbish. Yeah. You see me, I deal with so You use them things that make money around grow. Yeah. You see me, I deal with yeah. So you have to learn how to really use the science of living on it. Come on, but a whole of man couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. You see me, I deal with But me come, get, come, get yeah, me come learn from them, mm -hmm. see them feel you. Because I mean, you feel for us to learn that we must not feel you. Know. Mm -hmm. You see me, I deal with mm -hmm. So all of them, something that we come learn from, for them feel you. Know. And she said, why? I want to hold up a thing really to develop a people and a black man and a thing. So, in you know, the development of the music, if I said you have a musician who could create music, get the most fight. Mm -hmm. When you're a player, you know, you're a slave, you're a music slave, you know. Mm -hmm. It's when you're a music creator, eh, you mm -hmm. become so unique that. Of course, you are saying, you're like a you one can do that. Mm -hmm. You're going like that. And them can't do it, you know, because music creator, them, them born. Mm -hmm. People who born, like how oh, you know, going to music school. And yeah, like, so they, you say, yeah. like, yeah. we born to play music. Mm -hmm. You say, we're going to So, yeah, I say, we're music. Yeah, we're music. We just play music. We are music yeah. itself. Yeah. 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 So, so, we go through this thing, and, and when I want to see your, your, your talent and your. your how oh, you do things. Them I wonder how you do things so easy and you make things look so easy mm -hmm. and you make the thing work. All when them can't make it work. Because uh, Eric Donaldson, you know, Eric Donaldson was that easy thing of you know. Mm -hmm. And I know Eric Donaldson we play, you know. Mm -hmm. You see me I deal with me there and me one day me and my phone ring. I mean, yeah, Mike Carroll called me and said, boy, he used to pay for the rent. They have to run through now, they can't manage it. So, yeah. I'm going to come, yeah. and I'm going to go play them, yeah. and get all the money, and, you know? Yeah. So, some musicians, no matter how them great in a music, yeah. you know, them still can't fathom even some man, some man hides, mm -hmm. where them be you now. Mm -hmm. so, and mm -hmm. if you play for a singer, where you need, because you have, when you have all of a whole team of man to play for, and we reach out uh, Joe Gibbs through the other way and make the whole of Joe Gibbs music. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. I'm here, I style them, I say, them have a 50 drum for the band, but I'm here, I say, what's right? They want to have the band, the drum, man. You can't hear a little drum from Bob, we can't drum roll, see how we are, because mm -hmm. they're not moving, yeah. because the technology never did everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can't roll and come in and go on, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And you can get all of them things there. Mm -hmm. And you hear a little drum and them get all of the credit for all the work them where we do. Mm -hmm. And all of them something there. And mm -hmm. you hear a whole man, big up a whole for man. And them there, you know, say how we make the work. Mm -hmm. Dean Fraser and all of them, when we make the, the rhythm, them, them complain. They ah, no, them I make the rhythm. And when I listen to them, them not have that, that, that artist yeah. feel it. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So, them push me one side. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm here in a studio. I mean, I had them man there. And the engineer, I mix my tune, I make this one tune with Larry Marshall. And the engineer, I mix the tune. And I say, engineer, I'm not here with piano. I said, this is a draw down the piano there. He said, man, I'm way out. Tell him, man, I'm going to the man to come play the hands for the tune and the man tell you how to mix my tune. So mm -hmm. all of them something yeah, there, the you know, them little things that have so much feel you know, in mm -hmm. our own music. So when the music reaches the stage where it reaches now, me realize that I the whole system mindset where the man them never did put around it a good mind mm -hmm. because them all exercise more bad mind more than good mind mm -hmm. everything here yeah, bad mind bad mind when you cause bad mind and your own mind you cause mm -hmm. much of everything because your mind is the greatest part of you where you build the world mm -hmm. and when you cause it you don't have nothing to build mm -hmm. so right to build them have no good mind and you nothing with mm -hmm. you see me mm -hmm. so we not get where we get our reach where we reach mm -hmm. you know but this is the whole thing 
And I say, you see the whole thing how it go, I think most I grow with it. Yeah, because yeah. if you never learn to see yourself and, and love the eye yeah. and the most eye, we are tell yourself we will suffer the consequence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we suffer it. No, we can make it we better, make it better. 2021. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. We will make it better because see, right now, me and my first car album, mm -hmm. I got, I got, I got, I like now, mm -hmm, you see, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and, and, and look at scare. I authentic Jamaican music that mm -hmm. you see, and them musicians can't play it. Mm -hmm. Them not they, because Skia is a is a composition, is a invention. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Is is a, it authentic? Mm -hmm. It higher than jazz. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I can't just you can't people I mean I people down jazz, you know. Yeah. But listen man, drop leg in a sky, you know. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. way I deal with. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so Skia is an authentic Jamaican music and we see much of England and the world mm -hmm. and we come back right on Jimmy Cliff and all of them man they got tour with Skia. You know? Mm -hmm. And come back. Um, look at every month you marry me, believe say all the bread in there would I get big highlight, you know. Mm -hmm. Every month to Maris and a uh, Buster. Yeah. Big part and Derek Morgan in a Jamaican music. You know? Yeah. To, to develop the thing, you know. Yeah, it's And yeah. And no, the Native government not see them. You know? Government, not, them, not, them not see them as, as a pioneer in the business. As a foundation. And foundation. Them not talk about it. You go to the school. But no foundation. Them. No people do the foundation. They're not giving enough props. Because no. if you look on it, even, even me. Yeah. Cause oh, you, me, you, you talk about your era with the ski and the rock steady and all them something but yeah. me, me know when dance and music just start yeah. me have one big big party yeah, yeah. me know from Punani just start playing from, from radio yeah. and when Gigi come in them they are yeah. the first first set of dance and rhythm dance and what we know today yeah, that's where yeah. it come from yeah. so that's my era yeah, yeah. yeah and me and the man we are there with the, as the artist and boss the first time going to kill our travel and me and him I go up there, so the whole of them dance all artists there, me and them. Yeah, I go up there, so the whole of this thing, them do all over the world, Lady Saw, the whole of them. And yeah. nobody no, no know the history. Yeah. Nobody yeah, no see it and recognize it. They never categorize the thing, them, them take things and, and, and put on that thing. Mm -hmm. They never categorize them. Yeah. You know? But uh, if dance and common is in our category, scared in our category, reggae in our category, rock steady in our category, mental in our category. Because we have so much different music for you know. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Where we, we have a lot of characters. They have mix up the whole of them like one thing. Yeah. They have not categorize them and show you your era of this music. Yeah. And say so this music, we can still make money out of them. Yeah. It's still a music farm where you make enough to put on. Yes. Because them authentic to be the youth, them can't play music, you know. Yeah. Just a fruity loop, them. A yeah, fruity loop. Yeah, because them fool them with fruity loops and all the like something. Many so about music. Craft music. Like you yeah, have play draft mm -hmm. and then touch it and yeah. it sounds it sound good, yeah. And touch the next thing again and yeah. draft the next thing like you yeah, change gear and, yeah, yeah. and eventually them no learn nothing. Cause yeah. them come and run back and watch me, you know. Yeah. And say, and when me and I work out and see, and when me, them see me bang my piano and put in a bass line and set up my drum and thing, they must say, but I didn't know how to reach this. Yeah, let's get more. Let's get more. Let's get more. You have to play it. You have to learn it. You have to learn it. Yes. You see me, I did it. Yes. I have to learn it. Because we will learn from them. I will steal them and learn from them. Yeah. I will name them. We will learn from you, our engineer. Yeah. The engineer, then we will sit on music. Producer. Yes. I will them learn from how we them see coming at studio with a, a keyboard and a drum machine. Yeah. And them see how he's doing the things and. Yeah. Them, them eventually come big and go and like say and we do them. Yeah. You know? And mm -hmm. and start beat them chest like Nebuchadnezzar. Like, all of them still like grass right now. Mm -hmm. None of them not do nothing because we are going to make scam music come take over by the system. Mm -hmm. Because them things are going to you know? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. have its space. Yeah. 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 You see, so you know, of no authentic music um, categorized. They're not categorized music, they're not make. So if you have all that shit, look at all them, them reggae song splash on them. You can have a reggae segment, mm -hmm. a dancer segment, a jazz yeah. segment, mm -hmm. a, a rap rap say segment, mm -hmm. and a, a mentor. mentor segment. Mm -hmm. And make the people them hear the, 
the authentic form of the, the, the festival of music. Mm. You know what I mean? Because in festival music, I mean that. You know, see them try to work out festival, festival music for a sound, you know? Yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. And them are trying to move it to dance that. Yeah. And I said, okay, where are we for the festival then? Because I went Stanley and the Monday and Eric Donald is not going You see? Every see like a staff party. I pay over two million dollars to make a festival. Imagine that. Yeah. And we leave with nothing. Yeah. And we get nothing. Yeah. And yeah. them and the tune of them make couldn't play. Yeah. Them have to drive up the cherry or baby. Yeah. Pick yeah. the festival and make the people them feel good. Yeah. No, not the band of the thing I'm big rip off in the system. You know? So music we show you the music business. I'm gonna do terrorist business, man. Yeah. You know, as we say, we can't make them because we used to poverty. I got them on one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to know I'm not. Yeah, yeah. And we still live without it and somebody. Yeah. And I was, oh, and we not teeth. Yeah. And we not sell no, no weed. Yeah. And we not sell no drugs. Yeah. And we not tell no lie. Yeah. And we not call the world. I start, but start telling the poor. No, no, no. Set you up. In, in the case of them best yeah, friends, I'm going to buy the world. Set you up over them. Yeah. Yeah, man. Save your money. Save your money. Because I save you over there. You know what I do, man. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, man. Me, me used to do all of them, man. Miss Pottinger. Yeah. Um, hey, me do all that tune for Miss Pottinger, you know. Yeah. One man, me go down and go tune the piano. And Miss Pottinger. And the Errol. So, you know, Jaggy. Engineer near Errol. The Errol, you know. Thompson. I believe. Errol, you know, my name. But Errol, you know. And he said, Jaggy, you know, you do all that piano for that tune. So, I do on the piano. I said, why you play an instrumental band at Bob Marley? Yeah, my father helped a lot of people, you know. And, you know, say, my father know where a lot of the artists, them, them first song, just like you see, I do Josh's first song, see me and record it and put it out there. I see my father, like even Gregory Isaac and, you know, quote the melody and Golly Bop and, you know, even keep it and made my father talk about one at a time. You know, for the, the big, uh, um, you know, Eddie Fitzroy, you know, Princess Black. You know, a lot of the, the artists that my father do them first song or them first set of song. Because he always did it on the foundation where he not pressure people with just for money and he wants to see people reach place and, you know, help people. You know, help other people with their music. and. I always do ever try to make the artist them to start. And my father still do that up to this day. Sometimes by the time I wake up, I'm done, I'm done a film studio that I make music a long time. We are, we are busy all the time. You know, my father, him though, not an easy road with Bojo Bantan, the Love Overdue with Gregory Isaac, the Foundation, you understand, with Dennis Brown. He have a big catalog of music. Father do a lot, he used to play like a 10 song a day. So there's so much song and so much work with me. I forgot to do. kind of track down them things there so we can set film business straight the same way. Because, you know, I say we're into the passion of music so much where we neglect the business and you know, we know come a time where we have to really take out the business and deal with it and sort out that. Yeah, man. <laughs> Sit down, eat in a chalice, you know? Yeah, we say we're going to eat a chalice, you know? You know what the chalice is? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to eat a chalice and big jar, jump set, you know? So I just like my chalice and the jar. You know that um, we need this, this, this drum set and we want to make some music, you see? So we want this drum set for my people, you know? Yeah. So we don't light our chalice and burn it and I know we're out on the road. I, I hear a car blowing. Plop, plop, plop. So I, I said, come here. 
So when I go over and look, I get to find that. I wasn't, I didn't ever really want to go, you know, because I was going so, you know, and he oh, moved so. So I said, so, you know, so I said, all right. So I go, he said, come on, come. So I go inside of the car. And he said, I okay, not care who wants to give something, you know. I know I didn't want to go, you know. But I said, all right. I go in and see it. And when I go when I'm home, it's a jump set right away. <laughs> So I go back and go show Jack. Jack said, you get a jump set here. I said, what? You're right. So I said, yeah, man. So I'm going to go right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So from there, so. You see, yeah. when I didn't know the wind came, so I walk up there. So, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> so you see, it's them way there. Yeah. We want a bass. We want a bass guitar. Oh. And I decided to rest my car. It's like I don't live down three miles. And rest my car. Live down there too, you know. But the next morning I wake up and I say, what? I want, I just a turn on in the room. I spin, so I have a hog and then I did a big hog you know? A little hog and my wife here said, what happened to this man? So I said, well, I don't know, you know? But the spirit does lead me on the rest of my car home. You know? Yeah. And as I push in the gate, so it's a bass guitar, I sit on the ground. I said, oh, yeah, so I said, take it up. And I said, hi, man. And you say who that? I had the and you say yeah man. Yeah. You know? So I say I say I might I say I'm the yes body you know, if I have it you have it, you know. I say yes, Jody, you can't put it them off and full of water, you yeah. know. Boop is a BS come in, you know? I brother give me a whole piano. I'm just I'm gonna just give me a whole piano. And it's so it and go and we just get instruments, I brother come from California and just carrying uh hamper fires, you know. Yeah, it's who, who, who will give to receive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, uh, the things come to you. you. You don't have to beg for it. Ah, you see, uh, so just uh, seek him first, and I think she'll be at it. Uh, you know, so uh, it's just that life we have to live. Okay. So, you know. Okay. <laughs> so, perfect. Perfect. Tell him about pussy. I mean, the music itself. He tunes pianos for a well, he tunes pianos, not for a living, he tunes pianos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I heard his music last night, yeah. the composition <laughs> man, and yeah. first, oh wow, yeah, it was just, he, yeah. he knows how I felt, yeah. I mean, it was just... So crazy. if you want to ask me anything about bands, yeah. until now. Okay. So, because so, we, 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 in, in music, we, we know about people like Don Jones, who is a hot set, um, trombone player, yeah. the best ever, plays all the scare with the scatter lights and all that. He used to hold his music shit <laughs> while he's blowing. So he's like right up front of the music. Yeah. So, so can you do that? Just yeah. right out of the stand, yeah. talking about the history a little and yeah, about the transition. Yeah. That would be better. Yeah. Um, <coughs> you can ask. I can, is, are you focused on it? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think basically people like to know how the music come, like musically, like from ska to rap steady to reggae and, and the people were basically involved and how them achieve them roots musically and all that. Yeah. <clears throat> what I learned, right? From my was a youth coming up, I started to blow my mouth down. I play most man like Danjo Mans, you know, playing Skia and those type of music, you know. But I get to love the, the tendency, I not knowing, just to, just love it through music and want to play music, you know. But uh, over the years coming up now, I start to want, I, I move it from the, the mouth organ to the finger organ, you know. So I tell my mother to help me to learn the finger organ. So during them time, the music started to change over from ska to rap steady. You know, because when I was a youth growing up, the music moving, I still hit it, you know. But what I learned now is the, the way how the music come, you know. It come out of uh, a people playing, you know. Because what we could only enjoy is just the music. So it's not a matter so we could enjoy a, a livelihood, you know. But the music was so much of a livelihood to us that it's just there, the whole pounding was. So the music changed again, you know, within the period. Like, 
you find man now like Jackie in the two was still among the scatterlights, you know. Come with soul vendors and yeah, upset you know, upsetters and yeah, you know, well, upsetters were yeah. further down still, yeah. you know. But was soul vendors and it was good now, mm. you know, coming through, you know, um, with Jackie me too. You find that Larry Marshall yeah. was man like with Nanny Goat, when mm. bring forward and next thing he were tuned, mm. where give the scat, the, 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 the rap steady and the scat, different boots again. Yeah. Right up to the reggae, reggae music now, because the music start raga, raga, raga. So everybody start to the yeah. other hand, you know? Yeah. You see? Yeah. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Yeah. There's a the music you now. So you find out Bob Marley and all them, man, you know, did I sing all the music like Sima Dome and all them kind of things. Which was scared. It was scared. Right. You see? Bob yeah. existed in the scared era. Scared era, you know? You know? You see, because the man that was my, you know, article, musical uh, energy, you know. Yeah. You see, because the man that bring me on to world for energy, you know, in other music, huh. you know. Yeah, man, and, but, you know, with all, all of a sudden now, I get so involved with the keyboard that I start to, to be a man who I put in, in the music, too. So I come more in the reggae era after, after the Scott. ska era, you know. Yeah. I follow out of the rock steady to learning and then come in the, the, the reggae era, mm-hmm. you know? So I had to play in you know, the rock steady music, you know, I play scam music, you see, for yeah. both of them. And, yeah. and then, yeah. you know, yeah. for yeah. learn all I can learn through rock steady and scam at the same time. Yeah. And then come play, you know, you know the reggae era, yeah. you know? So, them time like, they're cocks and all them, man, they play too. Cocks and that? Cocks and that, yeah, man. Yeah. I play That's too. one of the biggest. Yeah. Producers of the old and days, all those upsetters and yeah, all that man. come through, cops yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah, man. That them days music was cheap. Yeah, man. That cheap. Yeah, man. We played for like seven, six, and fifteen shillings, you know. Yeah. Some little money, you know. This <laughs> time, you know, it was the boy, you know. Playing music, guys. They love it, you know. Old day music. Until you work out that new music and that living, we play. And we start nightclub business, and that is another thing again. We draw me to plenty and variation and so on. That I play in a nightclub and pray because I get to say that is that this I want to do because I really have a creative force, you know. Mm-hmm. So you see, you know, I live out of them here and there, and I hide, I still hide out like from the bigger. Bigger upliftment at the, mm-hmm. at the business because I could only say stick mount bab, go mount plenty of them man. Uh, forget more booze, but I still I know just with those trying to study my music, mm-hmm. get my music over because I get to find say him bab himself fall in love with my music. Right. You see, and he love his music. Cause bab say why use my music as a soul. You know? yeah. see? So him have that you know as a music where he hear you know. Yeah. So we never get to really deal with it, you know, show my vibes. But you know what I get to really start to create a different music because still in the music today, I still hear something lacking. In the reggae. In the reggae, right. you know. Because to all even you like Steely and Clean be having. You know, a sly and rabbit. A sly and rabbit. Yeah. You know, like you know this earth of why say like that a man only can do what he can do. You know? So if you care if a man could do more, they would do more. Would do more. So if I sign some man out there, you know, with a better understanding, you can do more. You must do more. Well, I find say I can do a little more. So I put it in, you know, yeah. and I still don't go amongst them for doing it. I try to play as you see, I did do little like things, you know, that I can do a thing, you know. So, so yeah. it's, it's really that, you know. Is that had this vibration yeah, from those who play creep like reggae gila, 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 Dennis Brown, Dennis Brown, and tell them you they're coming right up. Yeah. You know? They said we, you know, play for them first and screw them. Half pint, yeah. yeah, man, plenty of them, right? And even today, right? Even today, right now. Yeah, yeah loads of other shadows are still coming out right, right here. here. Right here. You heard of Courtney Melody? Courtney Melody. Yeah, right out of here. You know, 
Ducky Simpson. 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 Ducky yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, artists give it up to you. Rick Abaka, we have Rick Abaka, the first guitarist. Bob Marley. Bob Marley guitarist. Come on, they play the first reggae show in life, and then they wrote him and Jackie me too. Those man is right here too. But he's got yeah. some spirit here. Yeah, you, you know. Yeah, man. They say it all right now, I'm all right here. Jackie Barry is still around us. You know. We sing Run for Your Life, you know, from Sensation. You know that song? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Run for your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackie Paris. Emma, no man is still around us, you know. Yeah, they're still here, yeah. right here. You know, but what I want to do for my people and the world of people is to create a music that can make us happy, you know, and loving and nice, you know. Enjoy a good music, yeah. you know. Break down all the world. Yeah, food of love, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, we want to do it, you know. Yeah. We have to. That give us the spirit, you know, and the good vibes. We just say, make a music for your people, you know. So we just do that. Yeah. You see, all our music is dedicated to people, you know, not to pleasure. You see, to people, to help them in the world, mm. and, you know. Like, yeah, when I was see. listening to your music yesterday, yeah. Yeah. it was really uni- universal, you know. Ah, see. The feeling every man. Must love if he's uh, healthy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That therapeutic nature. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, people. And you know, say my father now, my father Dennis Ferrand, I'm of eight away. You understand? And my father is not like, you know, like not for the father of them say neglect them kids and them something. No, my father make a lot of sacrifice. You understand? For be there for your family, God. My father used to tour with culture and Ras Michael and the Sons and Negus and meditation and a lot of a lot of groups out there, you understand, all over the world, very busy. And my father decides, you know what, he nah leave Jamaica anymore and leave him you with them. And you know, go them and just try to you know, call it survive in Jamaica and take care of your family. My father tear up in passport. Tear up that up to this day my father didn't have a passport. Up to this day we are a hell we get him, we get him to take out a passport. I'll know him want identification. I'll know him not do it. So my father make great sacrifice to keep him family together and dead of him youth. And there's one story about my father where he always stand out to me. And it made me love my father from a whole different level because I something me see when we their country. Like in the 80s, when Grand Spain, uh, grandson we come from, and Grand Spain around hot and people are dead and enough gunshot and anything. And my father tell my mother, say, yo, they care you in our country, and you know, we, we have a more balanced environment right now, because Grand Spain around hot, place rough, people are dead and type of stuff. And I remember me there, country, and one evening, I see my father come with a box of food on him head. And in a country and like nowadays there's so much transport around there's three bus, Beverly or Doreen or one next bus, you understand? If you miss the bus there, that's it. You have to know say you have to go walk. I mean no say my father walk probably one good nine miles for coming power with it. And when I see my father in the evening, the man wet from head to foot, like him there walking at the rain. How far my walk with a box of food for him family. And I see that as a little youth, and I never ever forget that. Never ever that has something that's sticking in my mind forever when it comes to my father. When I see my father, I met a child there, and oh, he really put out for be here for his family. And I have to give him respect, and I wish a lot of father that take, you know, even a little page out of his book for set certain example for them youth, and for be here for them youth, see him. And my face and my Emily and my father are lots of my car. I try to follow him. He may have eight youth, we make sure we get eight too. He understand that. We try to you know, emulate him as much as, as we can because he set a good example. And we can see how things work out, you know. Even the youth, they youth, them and all of them are going to be different, and all of them are going to be around, and all of them are going to support you. You know, so some of the time you not even know how to end up at the end of the day. But you have to bring the youth them to come. Father say must be fruitful and multiply. 
if you can take care of them, you know, care of you with them, build up your little team and build up your, yourself, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I always say still, you know, you never love to talk Rasta, you know, because, you know, Rasta is not, it's not talk, it's like liberty, you know. It's not to talk, you know. But it's just a liberty, because, if you buy the kind of shoe that from long time, say, man was living so, and then chastisement is so, and if and the father says, to change your way, you will get that reward. And so it's, it's no different at time from now, once man, you know. But you know, this time now, we know so well with Rastafari through time, you know. God is majesty, you know, and we really represent us as our king, and I'm sure it's the light. We say, all the philosophies should come together and we can say, well, put his majesty philosophy in front, we know so we're right, all we're right, you know. So we want to maintain that, you know, but it hides from us and we're like a literature and everything, you know, that we should actually read and read, we don't even gather them, you know. So all we gather is through faith and understanding and love of each other through one man really does get because some say love each other and one love and you know those are the sound we are live by you know so even in this time rasta man i love to do as rasta man you don't live good with everyone because that is rastafari right? you see to live good with everyone you see it and try to understand because we know people test people they test his people you know and no matter what you go, I want me like you or the next one, you eat it. And what do you look at it? Where would you be if you were here? I'll go and eat it. You will be a lover. You see? So you have to love everyone. You know, and you say, well, that one day I will forgive him or understand him or learn or she will learn. You know? So one day they will go around and come around and fall to them all. Because it's how it's going in life, you know? Yeah, man, everybody has to feel it for learning some more. So look and learn, you know. So do it, you know. So, <laughs> so Rastafari is not for talk. I believe, you know. I just believe in because our man is like cast a new translation of the Bible to me that the young and the old can understand, you know. And there's so much things and the bigger chance prejudice and the human self interest have been replaced by understanding and tolerance and goodwill. Then they will step in and help us more. Rastafari! <laughs> people have got it red eye, you know? He just love other people things, you know? You see? But if you check him out when you steal a man thing, sometimes you sell it for a small money. So you don't have to say that he want a lot of money for you. And the thing may value even a thousand dollars and he sell it for a hundred dollars. You see? So, you know this thing? We the poor people. Don't steal, we, we try to not steal because the Bible says thou shalt not steal. That is one of our policies in life. So we share, you know. But sometimes I really don't know, you know, what really happening, you see, okay. to a people, you know, why they have to do certain things. Oh. We have to just live with it, you know, and save yourself. You see, because you look know, how things are happening in the world and not, not happening to you, you know. Oh. You see, at the present moment, you see. But if my if it was there, you would say, well, why well, still would not to you, but you I will see, you know, yeah, you yeah, see. Yeah. So a lot of things happening in the world, we can't do nothing about, but we have to just try and yeah. don't make certain things happen to us, you know. The system, right? Urban the system is like it's a business, right? Because as I was saying, the soldier and the police, one one use one for war, one use one for the oppression of the people. So the, what the police do? If them could free her, the police don't have to work much because we don't steal. You see? And it's only the things like her, if them would come catch us with, you know, and fine, so we'll have our friends, you know. So if them free us, if them free the herb around us, we free. We are free people because we don't have to steal, we don't have to tell no lie, we don't have to, you know, commit no crime. You see? So we are free people, so police would not have work. You see? So you find say, uh, it was, this is the last oppression I see amongst the black man. You have you have you heard about the, the shootings in, in Kingston that they killed two, three people? Yeah. <laughs> last night. Last night, yeah. yeah. You heard about that? Yeah. What happened? I I, read, <laughs> I, you know, I was reading about Jerusalem, the active war. Yeah. You know? 
And sometimes when I look on my TV and I say, wow, is that Jerusalem? You know, I can't believe it's that Jerusalem that I read up. People flinging stone after each other. Guns. See, guns are shooting stone. You know, you can't believe happy warm, you know. So I look on everything and I say, well, look, we are really living in more happy warm than Jerusalem. Oh, you see? Yeah. You know, Iran, Iran, yeah, you see? Because we, live, we try to live and drink some water and eat a piece of bread. You know, and the sunny side, the sunny side. Yeah. Okay. A life of satisfaction. Yeah. Rich life and poor life. Good life. You know? Yeah. If the rich man living a good life, he living a good rich life. So the poor yeah. man must live a good poor life. It's what, what yes. the white man wants to do with technology. Yeah. Make life like this, you know, yeah. no up, no down no anymore. No Stereo. Dead. Uh, dead. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you have no to challenge. learn to yeah. see yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. We ain't no challenge, man. We ain't have no dream. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love to hear that because I try to do the same thing, you know, based on feeling and on heart and on whatever it is, if it's a picture or, or anything men can experience in senses, you know. cities and in Europe, all over Europe, yeah. but today I wrote postcards home yeah. to friends and suddenly I wrote, I mean, I, I suddenly knew that I have met some real artists, you know, yeah. some, not artists because they are promoted yeah. or artists because they are, they know all famous people, it's really something, something that's in you and in your, your work, that's special. Even when I was learning trade, you see, there was a piano that all the jazzists and the, the keyboard players them come and play, you know. And I always stand and watch them, you know. And I said, well, I don't want to play like none of them because they all sound alike to me, you know. You see, so I always try to say, well, I want to do something different, you know. So I, I just learned my keyboard to, I, I, I put like a drum. You know, put it to, 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 to African drum. Yeah. You see? So, yeah, so I just approach my keyboard as if you get a bomb or drum, you know, say, you have to just knock it, boom, boom. So that's the way I just, you know, approach my piano with a, a drumming nature, you know? But uh, the classical moods and so on, I, I don't have no control over them. No. Did you listen to a lot of classic music? No, no, I don't listen to radio and things like that. You know, I just listen to the news sometimes at the talk shows, you know. So people, you know, thank you for watching another episode of Daya Warrior Music History. And you don't know, please like and subscribe and share same way and big up the thing, you understand? They are putting in work, you know, if you don't see the video sometime I just we are trying to get the thing on a certain level. We not try to rush it and just put out video, put out video. We are trying to do it right, you know. Make people can 
you know, I don't know, rush thing. Because we don't do things by rush. You understand? People, I don't know for the things that I cut people's attention span because they don't watch this quick thing, quick thing. So many times we have to just relax and take a look at time and, you know, broaden my attention span and check out some things and learn some new things the same way. Yeah, man. So people you don't know a blessing, die a warrior, music history, nine, you understand? Out. 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 Yeah, we see him in the world, 